Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Holly and I have COVID. Why the fuck this is so hard? I don't even wanna talk about this. We did not come here to cry. This is not what we came here to do. Okay, so first um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm looking at. Um, a little backstory first. I had dropped my kids off at my mom's and when we picked them up, she had told me that she wasn't feeling well. And then um, a few days later, she told me that she had COVID. I decided to get myself and Marquise and the kids tested in case they had it. And that was on Saturday. Today is Monday. So today is Monday and right now it's 7.36. Um, I'm just, I'm still in shock. I found this out like maybe an hour ago. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know how to feel. And I guess I'll just vent to you guys um, what's on my mind. But basically, um, tomorrow I find out if the kids have it or not. Um, so I don't really think there's anything that I can't show you guys on here. If there is, I'll edit it out. But yeah, um, this is what it looks like. And, um not something you want to see. I'm going to be staying in the game room while Marquise and everybody is upstairs and then me and the kids will be down here quarantined. I just think um it's mainly scary for me because I don't know why I feel like we all have this mindset um but I just I guess I felt invincible because you know I had worked um in a few nursing homes because I had became a CNA you know I had been around people with COVID. I was taking care of people with COVID. <sighs> Get it together, oh my God. I think the hardest thing about this whole COVID thing um, is not being able to hug or kiss your loved ones. So basically um, what this whole vlog is gonna be about is my um my journey my symptoms anything i'm going through my feelings this whole experience is literally insane i've officially lost my sense of smell and taste it's nothing tastes good anymore um i'm just gonna distract myself for now i'm gonna play some naruto so I'm just gonna take a pause for my video games right now um, just to say that I got my Glamnetic bag and I wanna open this right now, but I'm gonna wait just because I'm not still not feeling good. This is only the second day. Um, I still have to review my Mr. Coffee iced coffee maker, my Lexi collection that one of my friends dropped. And I just feel like I could be reviewing this with the other stuff and along with announcing the winners of the Switch. I just, I'm too sick right now and I don't wanna contaminate anything and risk getting this COVID back after I possibly get rid of it. So I'm just gonna hold off on doing that review until I'm clear of COVID and then I'll be dropping more videos. But for right now, I just, I need to recover from this and I need to get better because I literally feel awful. This is honestly the worst. Please wear a mask, please stay six feet apart and limit yourself to who you hang out with. And even when you guys hang out, just please like keep your distance. I can't stress this enough. I don't wish this upon anybody. This literally, it's the worst, especially when you have kids, you can't hug them or kiss them because if they don't have it, then you risk giving it to them. And if they do have it, it's a matter of like a back and forth game, basically. And it's just, it's literally the worst. And I cannot wait um, for this to be over with. So just some more things to talk about. Um, I feel like I feel my worst when I first wake up and when I'm trying to go to bed, I have an awful headache and I feel like I have COVID. When I'm awake throughout the day and I, I get my body going and I take Tylenol and I take my golly gummies and I get into the swing of things, I'm fine. I managed to put all the laundry away. I am now limiting my kids 
toys. I hate saying that. I hate saying that I have to take something of theirs away from them, um, but it's for their safety. Um, they still have toys. They just don't have as many. They only have like a certain amount. That way um, I can make sure that all the toys stay sanitized with these disinfectant wipes and that things are getting properly cleaned so that way we can get this COVID thing gone as fast as possible. I gave Lily her bath and I did her hair. She really liked that. So that kind of made me happy. And she told me that I'm doing a good job, but um, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine. I have to stay positive. <sighs> so ignoring my hair because it does what it wants. Today is April Fool's Day. And even though I am not feeling well, we're gonna go get Marquise. <laughs> I'm gonna try the saran wrap on his door, but I have to be super quiet. Okay, so he's still um, playing his game. My hair just looks so crazy. Um, but we got our supplies. We got some tape and some saran wrap. He's just gonna like run his face into this. <laughs> and it's gonna be so funny. Okay, you guys, it is Monday, April 12th. Um, a lot has gone on today and I didn't even think to record. It just, it flew by so fast. The first thing being is I got retested and I was negative. However, my daughter and my son are still positive. So since I'm negative, I am now rooming with Marquise, but I'm rooming with my boyfriend right now in his bedroom. And then um, Lily is in the game room where I was at, where I've been filming. And then Mason is still in their bedroom. So everybody is split up and I'm hoping that since we can kind of continue to split people up and use PPE, use gloves and masks and sanitize, hopefully that will get rid of COVID. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I will be dropping my review soon for my Mr. Iced Coffee Maker and for that Lexi collection. So stay tuned for that. And thank you again, guys, for watching this. I appreciate you guys so much for all your love and support. See you soon.